All right. We're doing this. Peace. We've been wanting to do this for a while, right? Yeah, we've had it in the queue for a while, but we've um, finally got to got around to actually doing it. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad we are. Uh, and what is the it that we're talking the about? The it, <laughs> the it. So we have a few questions that we kind of wanted to explain. Uh, I guess our why, and just for you all to get a better chance to know who we are, and uh, not only what we're doing, but why we're doing what we're doing. Exactly, and I think uh, we can be honest and tell you exactly what inspired this. Uh, as many of you know who follow us at the Juice Box CBD, um, know that we've been reading this book by Simon Sinek called Start with why. Start with why. I was going to say the power of why, but that's <laughs> something. Maybe that's the sequel. That's I don't know. But start with why. So we've been reading this book. And if you've read it, you understand the main point of this is to understand your own why. And when you understand your why, it's much easier for people to understand why you're doing what you're doing and may uh, be more supportive of your journey. And I think that's what we're on is a journey and understanding why we decided to start the juice box. Um, so yeah, that's why we wanted to do this and we wanted to basically come to you and give you the answers that maybe you've been wondering, maybe you haven't been wondering, maybe you don't even care, but now you have it or you will have it. You will. Um, so should we go ahead and start with the questions? Yeah. Or? All right, so we, we can go ahead and jump this off with a little background info of who we are, um, what we're doing, why we're doing this, all the, all the rest. But I guess I can start with you. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, first question. Who are you? Who am I? Who are well, you? my name is Tana, Tana Juco. For those of you who want my full government, I'm not giving that out. Hey. You know me as Tana Juco. Um... I was born and raised in the DFW area, Dallas, Fort Worth, Louisville, Irving, stand up, all of y'all, Las Colinas, which is also Irving, so let's not front. <laughs> um, yeah, grew up in that area, um, went to high school at a small charter school, uh, went to Texas Tech University where this guy went, didn't even know him, but yeah, now we're together, which is weird. Um, I was always kind of involved in athletics, either by way of playing a sport or uh, doing personal training, uh, athletic training, and fitness in general, as well as general health. Like my family is very health conscious from my grandmother to my mom to myself we're all very aware of what it means to be healthy um, so in a nutshell I'm somebody who has always valued health but hasn't found a way to uh, I guess promote it toward people that I love and care about right like family members of course we know what we're doing we talk to each other about what we're eating and what kind of workouts we're doing, but I was looking for a bigger space to be able to make an impact in the community at large. So that's that's background information, but I don't know if that's enough. I don't know if people really understand who I am. I mean, I'm I, black, super hey. black. Uh, for those of you who know me, studied a lot of black stuff, and I'm proud of being black. Uh, so, yeah, for those of y'all who know me, you know that's how I am anyway. Look at my hair. Oh, hey. Okay. But yeah, that's who I am. Okay. Okay. I'll um, try to do my bit on that as well. So, I am Jared Hicks. Um, I'm also black. <laughs> uh, black AF. Yes. Vegan AF. Yes. Um, I am from Houston, Texas. Uh, Houston, Missouri City, uh, born and raised. I think you can say that right. Houston and Missouri City. Hey, sound folk. Y'all know what else, what's up. Um, so yeah, I'm. Um, goodness, I am 36 years old. Um, graduate of Sharpstown High School. 
from there went to Texas Tech and then again came across this young lady in, in, in our path, our journey, but didn't really uh, explore that, uh, that relationship until much later. But um, yeah, I am, I think, um, very passionate about health and wellness. Uh, my background, uh, I guess is my background. So yeah, my background is through sports. I've, I've had plenty of years, many years in, in the sports field uh, as a player and a coach. And I, I think, you know, from those years of experience, um, seeing the benefits of health and, and actually positive uh, health practices, see those play a part in the lives of the athletes as well as myself. Uh, I think where I am now is putting those practices more into play uh, in my everyday life and trying to get somewhere outside of the sports realm where I can affect a few more people than just uh, the athletes that I'm around. And so I am, um, like I said, I am vegan of color. Uh, and uh, shout out to Yezzy Dance yes, uh, for this shirt. Yeah, shout out to her for that. Uh, but definitely, you know, I think those those are two big parts in our, both of our lives, being hella black yeah. uh, and, and seeing the benefits and the, uh, yeah, the benefits of, of living a healthy lifestyle, uh, especially for people of color and black people specifically. So uh, that's who I am. Nice. I can dig it. I like who you are. Yeah. I like, I like who she is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so we got a few questions we'll go through and kind of let you know uh, a little bit more about us and about our company, about our path and journey. Um, question number two. The sun is coming through. It's okay. The sun is coming through. It's glowing. And, um, you know, how it hits our brown skin. It, it, it levels us up a little bit more. Uh, get your vitamin D, people. Get your right. vitamin D. I know we want to stay home, but let's definitely also get some sunshine and get some exercise. But we'll get into all that. We're out here as in the we backyard, proceed. and I hope it's not too loud. Like it sounds loud to me, so hopefully it comes through okay. But yeah, we're in the backyard getting Turn our off. vitamin D. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, question number two: How did you all, you, us, mm -hmm. both us together? How do we uh, partner up in this business? Uh, so real quick, the business that we have uh, at the moment, we are the Juice Box CBD. Uh, we're a health and wellness company that specializes in CBD infused cold pressed juice. Uh, so we have a few different flavors. We have a, a green juice, which is spinach and kale. We have a beets and kale. We have a orange, turmeric and carrot juice. Uh, and also a, probably our best seller is our pineapple ginger juice as well. Uh, with all those flavors, we infuse 10 milligrams of CBD in that 12 ounces of juice. Um, and so we want to talk about a little bit how we got into this this field, this space, this industry, um, and I guess what's next. But how do we get into this? So he passed the mic to me like he wasn't <laughs> the one who had the idea at first. But I'll go ahead and take the mic. Uh, okay. and I No, I'm just I'm, saying. Okay. So it was Jared's idea. Jared's uh we'll say baby right i know you don't like when i use that but <laughs> he had the vision and uh this was when he was living in houston and i was living in dallas and we were doing the long distance thing um but being the supportive girlfriend that i am i was like you know what i think that's awesome like keep doing what you're doing let me know how it goes if you need any help with ideas whatever whatever i'm happy to help you uh, long story short, we fast forward, this conversation has been going on for months and I'm talking to my mom and she had just gotten into CBD and she was like, CBD this, CBD that, all the benefits. And I was like, oh, that sounds really cool. Turn to Jared, I tell him about it. And I'm like, hey, my mom is in talking about CBD. What do you think about putting CBD in the juice? I think that would make you stand out a lot. He was like, I don't know. But then he was like, no, that's something. Like, that sounds dope. Like, maybe we should think about this more. We think about it, he does it, and this is when he's about to move to Dallas. So last year, July, he moves to Dallas. Our company launches in August, um, but right before we launch, he's like, babe, like, you've been such 
a help to me and helping this come together how about we do this together and i was like ah i don't know like we're not even married y'all like that's a big step to be like let's be business partners you don't even have a ring so like it was in my head i was like we're taking steps before steps like we need to back up some do some things before we decide to be business partners but then i was like no i think this is a great idea i like where it's headed i like what you've done and i feel like i can be a help so why not so together we launched the business in august of 2019 and that is how we decided to do this together well said well said. <laughs> I'm missing, I think, missing parts. Well, no, that, that that was the gist of it. Um, I think the only the parts that may be missing was really I was, you know, and this is way back. This is pre business, pre even idea of what our, our company was going to be. You know, I, I, I was work, work, working at a restaurant, working on the line, trying to get place out, and and losing my mind and sweating all over the place uh, in a kitchen. Um, but I knew that there was something better for me specifically and for us at large you know it was one of those kind of breaking points where and don't get me wrong the the, the restaurant that i was at the business i was working for a great company great business great restaurant um but I, I knew i wanted to do something for myself do something that not only i can be proud of uh but something that will help our community and so i was you know kind of daydreaming through services and, and trying to, like what can we do to help our, our, our community uh, at large and also help specifically our, our community of people of color, uh, black people as well, or specifically. Yeah. Um, and so it, it was just the continuing of that idea, that concept, along with the, um, I guess I got to a point as well that I was just so sick and tired of seeing so many people in my family and other family uh, families be prescribed so many different medicines. Yeah. Uh, so that was also going going in my life at that time, and uh, just seeing the readiness for doctors to give you more and more medicine, uh, but not actually curing the ailments that were uh, afflicting the people, me including as well. Um, that that was kind of the breaking point. That you know we wanted to find something that we can be not only proud of, but something that will uplift and build our community. Uh, where we're not depending on medications exactly. that will um, invariably put band-aids on uh, these issues. We wanted to heal and heal from the, the cellular level. And so uh, that kind of birth, uh, the, the juicing idea that ended up leading to a CBD uh, and led to yeah. now. And I think uh, we should be clear that our issue is not with doctors or medicine. Mm -hmm. Um, it's that there's this over prescribing of medication when you could be eating things get, that could actually heal and prevent things from happening, right? Like all of these ailments and diseases that we're facing from diabetes to hypertension, these are actually preventable. So being able to eat the right things so that you don't get to a place where you need the medication or if you are in a place where you need the medication how can we reduce that right. by eating the right things drinking the right things having the exercise doing the meditation all of these things are a package it's not a one one thing fix where you just drink some juice and you're good to go it's not that we're not even saying that so i think we need to be clear that uh our qualms are not with doctors like if you break your arm you should go to the doctor like <laughs> there's no uh this ain't gonna do it you know you know <laughs> there's nothing that uh you can drink that's just gonna sew up those bones right like you gotta get a cast all of that to say we're trying to work together to make sure that uh we're not putting chemicals in our body that are doing more detriment than benefit so we want to we want to be a part of that healthy journey and um, growth and healing and recovery. So yeah, definitely. I you touched on some uh, really good points in that that uh, clarification that kind of leads to this next question. Yeah. Uh, but were you done? Yes, yeah, you good? good. Okay. So the next question is why is this important to you? 
Okay, and so we kind of touched on some of those things as why this is important. Um, I think one of the things I heard in, in that explanation is again, we're, we're not disparaging or discouraging doctors or the, the use of medicine. Um, but what we want to do, what we want to encourage is uh, this is a lifestyle. And so what I think has happened over decades or what have you is that we're looking for the quick fix. Yeah. Um, we want that one medicine, or those group of medicines to help uh, our ailments, our issues, and we do nothing in that entire process. We just, just take it and continue to you know, live the life that we're yeah. living, right? Mm -hmm. And so what, what we want to do with all of this is kind of to uh, promote a lifestyle uh, where, you know, if, if it's, of course, we're vegan, but if that's not uh, something for you that, that you can uh, handle or tackle or are interested in, that, you know, so be it. But we do want to encourage healthy eating habits yeah. uh, along with uh, different herbs or uh, fruits and berries and yeah. nuts and vegetables uh, that have been around for, for centuries. Like that have adding been that to your diet, right? That, that's so it's the, not just, thing. yeah, like you're saying, like you don't have to be vegan. You don't have to follow that lifestyle. But like making healthy eating what you do on a regular basis by implementing those things that are really good for you and taking out the stuff that's not so good for you. Mm -hmm. So the question is, why is this important? And this is kind of what we've uh, been able to unpack in uh, this book that we're currently reading. So we do have, again, like we said earlier, uh, the Juice Box Book Club. Mm -hmm. uh, so the book right now is Start With Why. And Simon what Simon Sinek. Simon Sinek. Mm -hmm. Simon Sinek, look it up find it uh if you can't find a local bookstore or someone to get that to you yeah. uh public library yeah. they should have it Are as well open now? uh they will be okay. they will be all right sometime soon uh if not there are plenty of small bookstores that are out there uh that need your business really need your uh, business now so you definitely uh you know call check out some somewhere yeah. check and see who has start with why it can help whether you have a business or not uh, I think starting with why uh, really gives you a foundation like in all of your uh, movements from day to day. I interrupt him all the time, so he's used to it. But y'all probably like, she rude? Um, <laughs> yes, but you're right in saying that it doesn't matter if you have a business or not. Like, this is just you understanding yourself. Like, why do you do the things you do? Why are you in the occupation that you're in? Why do you follow the organizations that you do? Why do you support so-and-so? Like, these are the things that... I think can help us along our personal, professional, emotional, uh, spiritual journeys, right? Like to figure out what is what, why we do what we do. I think it's very helpful. And we're not uh, getting anything from Simon Sinek for this. <laughs> we just like the book. <laughs> that's, that's it. He's not paying us at all, right? Uh, so you want to answer that in more detail or? Um, or we, uh, what was the question again? Why is this important to you? What, what, what's your why? Why is this important? Why what we're doing yeah. is important? So this is important to me because I think for a long time I felt like um, we've had a troublesome relationship with food. Uh, like I think food is such an intimate even spiritual experience right to eat and know that the food that is going into your body is actually becoming a part of you right but I find that the way that it's presented in the world is not that it's a uh, quick it's uh, almost in a way that is sensual in a way that isn't like the way that I envision food like you want it to be good you want it to taste good but I think the the message is missing and in how um, intimate this is to the growth and well-being of our bodies like it's so connected to us that when you do consume the wrong things it's coming out in your body right it's feeding your mind it's feeding like your physical body and if you understand that connection this son is really doing something crazy um, <laughs> if you understand that connection then it's like why do we have this like relationship with food that is like 
well, I want to go on a diet and I'm going to do this thing and I'm going to take these things out. I'm going to try to make sure that I like it shouldn't be that it shouldn't be a fight. It shouldn't be contentious. It shouldn't be a battle. It should be something that we're enjoying. It should be a, a joyful experience that you're eating well and you're reaping the benefits of the food that you put in your body. So my why is always driven by having a better relationship with food. Um, we know about anorexia, bulimia, obesity, all of these things that are impacted by a relationship that's damaged. But I think my, what I feel is important to me is to remedy those ideas or those uh, imbalances that we feel or that we have that are true um, in our minds to have a better relationship so that we can sit down with a meal and take our time eating it and know that you're gonna feel great after eating this. You're gonna have energy. You're gonna sleep well. You're gonna release all of those toxins when you, you know, have your movement, right? Like all of these things are gonna be beneficial to your overall well-being from your mind to your body to better meditation and yoga sessions because you've eaten the right things so it's important to me for one reason and that's just to have a better experience like it shouldn't be a battle definitely uh and that relationship is important uh and i think that's one of the things we uh talked about a few weeks ago in that relationship we, we have a relationship regardless, right? Whether it's uh, with food, with exercise, uh, whatever it may be. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent. Um, but I think one, one word that came up a few weeks ago when we had this discussion was uh, appreciation. And so I think that's that's kind of turned into my why is um, that we want to have an appreciation for the food that this earth has given us, right? And so we've seen so many... Uh, over throughout time, um, civilization has been able to sustain itself off of what the land has provided, uh, and we want to show appreciation to that land, that land, that fruit, that vegetable, that that uh, grain, whatever it may be, uh, and not abuse it in ways that is disrespectful and unappreciative uh, of whatever you know the Creator, God, whoever you want to term that that being as. Um, what they've given us uh so we want to appreciate it and not abuse it um you know the, the, the same thing with our bodies we want to appreciate this vessel that we are in for however long we are in it and so i think if we uh get to a level where we appreciate it uh we then take care of it of course so now we're moving we're we're doing exercise we're walking we're doing yoga um we're appreciating the mind that we have been uh given the experiences we have and so we're uh, meditating or doing different uh, activities that will uh, keep our minds strong and, 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 and fresh and vibrant. Uh, and so I think all of what we've done and what we try to put into this business uh, has been, the base of that has been, you know, let's be appreciative of these, these natural things that this world has given us. Uh, and let's make sure we uh, as we show appreciation to it, we give this to others. So it's not just, you know, anything, you know, we're not giving you all any new information or, um, you know, we didn't discover anything, right? right? We, we just want to pass on what we, we have come across uh, and, and not just come across in reading or seeing videos, but what we've been able to experience in our, our uh, individual lives as well. Um, and so it's really just our why, my why specifically is, um, I want to appreciate what this world, what this land has given us. And so we want to use those things the best way as possible to appreciate this vessel that we're in so that we can go off and do whatever we need to do for our community, our families, uh, and whoever else that we're, we're in contact with. Yeah. So. And I agree with you. Like, I think we have mutual wives, individual wives, and I think uh, for sure it has to do with this cycle right like life is a cycle whether it's one day or a lifetime right and what you're eating is gonna come out and you want to make sure that it wasn't a waste like you're not putting processed chemical food into your body and then putting that back into 
the land, the energy, it's, go it's going out somewhere. And these chemicals are released. And then what do we do with the food that we consume from that? Like we don't want to create cycles that have that bad energy. So yeah, I think it's both and together our wise work. That's why we decided to do this. The juice box is birthed out of these drives that we have to be better for ourselves, but to be better for our environment as well. All right. So we kind of work through our whys and, and who we are. What else do you do? What else do what I do? What else do you do personally that's, <laughs> that's health related? I know I want to move out of the sun a little bit though. Just a little bit. We can share. We're going to share. That's what we're going to share. We're going to pause this for a second. All right. This is much better. I feel like I can see. I'm not sweating anymore. Okay. Cool. So, where are we? Okay. So, yeah. where we left off was, what else do you do? What else do we do? Okay. Um, that's health related. Yeah. Kind of touched on it a little bit in the last question. But, what else? Other than just eating food. Right. Eating good food. What else do we do? So definitely for me, yoga and some kind of cardio workout, I do almost every day. I can say the weekends I'm a little slacky, but definitely to start my day, I'm doing something, yoga or cardio, uh, before I even get on my laptop to do work, especially working from home, because you're always sitting down, um, always, golly, like I felt like when I was in the office, I was up, moving around, going to the bathroom, going up and down stairs. But now that I'm at home, literally sitting on the couch and I feel like, I don't know, y'all know, who knows me? I know me, you know me. <laughs> I feel like nothing, it, listen, let me stop. All I know is I feel like I have to do some kind of physical activity. Um, when we were quarantined together, we didn't have COVID, at least I don't think we did. We've never gotten tested, but, uh, we did meditate every day and that was good. And sometimes we were doing a sunrise meditation and a sunset meditation. And I think that helped. Um, and reading, I feel like that is definitely a part of health, mental health, mental health, but also mentality or intellectual health. Okay. Is that a thing? Yeah, yeah, you definitely okay. wanna, you wanna do practice, things to like, keep your brain nice. Exactly. And Vibrant. Yes. So for me, yoga, cardio, meditation, reading, going on walks with the dog. Those are my things to like keep my mind and body, spirit um, in shape. Those are the things that I do for sure. Okay. Yeah. I can dig it. Uh, I think mine are similar. Um, what's been good since I've moved to Dallas? Uh, been here almost a year now. Um, what's been good for me is actually let me let me step back. Uh, I don't think I've, I've voiced this enough, and this is a little bit of my why. So I, our business is a CBD business at the base, and we will you know expand as we move forward into other products. Uh, but as I got into CBD um, for my anxiety and depression, mm -hmm. all right. So especially specifically the anxiety. Um, what has, I guess what has got me to this point have been some of these things that we've talked about throughout this video and up until now and in, in, in this in this question. Um, they've been things that, that I've seen the benefits of, um, and, and they have been great. I mean, it, it's, it's almost been night and day in my mood or mood swings uh, or the absence of mood swings. Uh, so to answer this question, um, of course, so we use CBD. That, that's one of the things we Definitely. we do have yeah. in our, our household on a, a daily basis. Um, every day. Every day. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I think. Um, so along with the CBD, I've been fortunate. I've, I've lived, you know, pretty close to my job, and so I bike to and from work. Um, so that, that's kind of been my exercise. I'm not that big of a fan of running and. Uh, other, you know, uniform workouts. I miss running, y'all. You can have it. I jacked up my knee. <laughs> you can have it. Yeah. 
Uh, but I'm so glad as I've gotten older, I've gotten into cycling. And so this, this has been a definite benefit for me uh, and my health and wellness. Um, for me to get some exercise, uh, I am, I'm gonna I'm give you a little peek behind the curtain. I'm 36, all right? I, I'm in good shape. Yeah. I can run up and down, uh, move side to side, and I'm very fortunate to do so. But I am so afraid at this age to go play basketball because I'm afraid of. So we're at that age. So this is like the Kobe Bryant age yeah. of getting that that torn Achilles, yeah. and that's that's one of the injuries that I I'm so afraid of and can yeah. do without. And so with that fear, uh, I've, I've ventured into other things that can keep me uh, give me the cardio and keep me healthy. And that's where you know riding the bike has definitely helped me out a tremendous amount. He uh, loves cycling, like like a lot thanks to this one I, I i didn't know this was in me and, and um you know she she was gracious enough to uh get me a bike yeah i need uh, this is none of, why are we talking about this i don't know but i want to get a bike right we're here now i want to get a bike that i like i had a bike don't like it as much i could use that one that would be sufficient enough but you know how it is when you want to do something you want the thing that you envision so i'm waiting on the bike that i want so that i can cycle with him because maybe it will be a replacement for running because i can't run anymore just it's not in the cards for me he's mentioned his age like twice he's 36 i'm 34 i don't know if my knees are ever going to get back into the position that they were in before so uh maybe cycling is another way to do it but for yeah. now the little hit cardio that i do and the yoga man yoga if y'all are not into yoga, you got to get into yoga. Just a little bit. Like, even if it's just like a little stretchy, stretchy, not too many poses, then at least you have that experience because stretching does actually make a difference. It releases the toxins in your body. And everybody needs that because once you sweat, when you, I feel like I'm talking nasty, when you urinate, when you defecate, when you... Yeah, we all do it, so I'm telling the truth. When you're releasing all that stuff and you stretch, you do yoga, the toxins actually come out when you extract all of that stuff. So, do it. We have a dog that we walk and now he's interested in something, so, sorry. Yeah, so. Yeah. Uh, so those are the things that we do in addition to Biking is really good for you. Yeah. So, and that's where we are. Uh, as we get older, we might be afraid of different tasks or different things, different workouts. You might have bad knees or what have you. Uh, get your bike, man. Yeah. Ride up and down the street a little bit. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's one of the things I've done in terms of uh, working out and cardio. Yeah. Um, we talked about food. Yoga has, has been really good for me. I've, I've been on and off of yoga. Uh, I don't know, good five, ten years probably. Uh, but you know, getting that more in my life um, has been a, a, a definite positive uh, for me. And like like she said, and I explained all those different things that happen with yoga and stretching that that are uh, benefits to you. Um, what else? Meditate. Meditate is always good. Meditation is good if you can find. And, and I think what scares a lot of people is sitting still and, and just being quiet and so of course you have the issue of trying to find that few minutes of quiet time um and and you know if you have kids or have other responsibilities that could be uh, a struggle to find that that few minutes but i guarantee you, you can find it somewhere all right you don't need a whole 30 minute uh, or 45 minute yeah. session you know five minutes somewhere yeah. in a quiet space um can do wonders yes. um, and you can work your way up to those five minutes too so like if you're right. having trouble finding the time or the space because you have a lot of people in your house or a dog who wants your attention um so you can do it in the shower you know yeah. like those first few moments as you're feeling the water on your body take that time to just be silent you know and like enjoy that that time to let your mind wander and do the things that it does you know because i think a lot of what 
people fear or feel like they're not accomplishing what they're supposed to do when they're meditating it's like oh i keep thinking of all these things it's okay that happens to all of us when we meditate sometimes it just does not you're not there but at least you're making the effort and the more you make that effort the better you're gonna get and the more natural it's gonna feel so definitely meditation um yeah and i think uh as an additional testament to your experience with anxiety and depression i think because i didn't know you in that space uh knowing you now and how you've described those situations and experiences in your life before you moved to dallas like yeah it sounds like night and day to me like it seems like you've made a like a change that has benefited your mental wellness in a way that is a testament to all of these things together and that's why we emphasize that it's not just cbd it's not just working out it's not just eating the right things but it's all of that stuff together like everything everything that you're doing you're finding the right combination of things that help you get that balance that chemical balance that you need so yeah um i think that's about it in terms of other healthy um i mean drink water yeah you know, lots of water, water and, um, you know when you're dehydrated i said this today i was like dang i feel dehydrated so you just know drink water and if you know you feel dehydrated then you probably been missing out on water for a while so drink as much as you can so yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. um so last question we'll kind of wrap this up with yeah. um so what do you envision for the future I it's like kind of it. open-ended okay. um yeah. we can talk about the future of mankind or the future of us or, or yeah, the company um but yeah what we envision for us as a company um of course for anyone any company we we always want to see growth mm-hmm. um and we, we've had discussions about different things that we want to expand to. Uh, so you all that have been um, tuned in to our social media pages up to this point have seen uh, the, the emphasis on CBD and the, the benefits that CBD can do for yourselves. Uh, we're definitely a you know, big proponents of that, and that won't change. Uh, what I do see for the future are other products uh, that will benefit our health and wellness. Uh, So I guess without giving too much away, um, but there there will be expansion for us. Um, We we kind of started just as a CBD business, but this will expand and and become a full and hopefully well-rounded health and wellness uh, benefit for you all, uh, you know, as it's been for us. So we want to continue to to expand so that we can to share more things uh, with you that may uh, may help you more specifically. You know, CBD is not your your deal. We, you know, there are other things that can address anxiety or depression or inflammation, uh, so that we we can, you know, start to heal and heal uh, more than just a, a small amount of people, a small group of people. Yeah. So that that's kind of the um, what's on the horizon. I think in in my mind for us. Um, we will, and, and I guess we'll talk a little bit more about this. We will be putting out more content. Yes. Uh, so there will be more videos, more uh, Q and A, or yes. uh, you know, recipes, or whatever else that we, we can help and continue to share. I'll show you what Jared cooks. I'll show you what I cook because we're both big cook cookers. Cooks? We be cooking. What is cookers? That's cookers. not right. We cook. We be cooking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no. But we both cook a lot. That's so weird. You know how the brain works? Sometimes you hear a word and you say it and it's like, that's not right. Anyways, we cook a lot. He cooks the most. I say it's like 65% him, 35% me, you know? So that's really what it is. Um, But yeah, we'll show you what we're eating, show you what we're cooking, show you our little workouts, show you 
uh when jared goes to work on the bike all the stuff that you really don't know about us we want you to know us so you feel comfortable with us so that we have a relationship that we can call you when we need some from you and you call us when we need wait you call us when you need something from us so we want a good community that feels like we can count on each other and like we were talking about what we envision jared said it well you know all of those things we want to expand but i think for the if we could say it in one sentence we just want to be able to be a part of the community and the community be a part of us in a way that shows that we appreciate nature we appreciate what's been provided to us and we want to give that back always about the cycle of energy being given to us this good energy be, being given to us and us reflecting it back out into the world so that's what we that's what we envision for the company i think together right yeah, yeah. so stay tuned yeah stay tuned if you have questions for us or anything that you want us to know we could do a q a based on topics that you find interesting uh we'll, we'll try to keep it real uh and as personal personal as possible we won't get into details and some stuff but you know we're gonna be respectful and tell you how we feel about some things and give you insights on all the stuff that we're doing and health related and mental health related spiritual health related all the things that are of good benefit to us as a community not just the two of us because that would be rude and selfish so <laughs> on that note yeah um again shirt if you're interested in shirts uh at yes. yezzy dance yes. y-e-z-i-d-a-n-c-e -E yes. on instagram uh, check her out. She has a few other things uh, that she has going. Hey, we want to be able to support local businesses, yes. small businesses. Yeah. Um, you know those those big big companies. They got enough money. Yeah. They they their their kids small are already in good private so schools. Yep. Uh, let's take care of each other yes. by promoting and and uh, supporting uh, each other in those in those ways. Exactly. Um, also, make sure to subscribe. Uh, follow yeah. our Instagram and Facebook. We are the Juice Box CBD. So T H E J U C B O X C B D. I guess hey, if you're watching this, you probably own this already. You probably are, but you've but, given me an idea though. Yeah. You said subscribe. We might as well be on YouTube. So maybe this video is about to be on YouTube and you just called it into existence by saying subscribe. So here we are. Here we are on Instagram, on Facebook on youtube hey listen that's where we are oh, all right oh. um, well is that it i think that's all that's it appreciate you all all right we love y'all peace, peace 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 and more peace all right